You know, we haven't talked about this yet in this teaching, but we need to. We need to. Because it's critical to our understanding of what the problem is, is that we have a horrible needs-wants disconnect. And I've taught this a lot, but it needs to be said again and again and again. We have a terrible needs-wants disconnect. But that's our problem more than anything else, is that we perceive things that we desire or want as a need, and that makes a huge, huge, huge trap for us to fall in. What am I talking about? A need must be met. If you need something, you will do whatever has to happen to get it because you need it, all right? If I were to come over to you and put my hand over your mouth and nose so that you could not breathe, you might think that was funny for a second or two, but at some point, you're going to need to breathe. You're going to kick me, punch me, elbow me, maybe try to bite my hand, anything, scratch me, gouge me. It doesn't matter. You need to breathe. But what happens is we want things, but we think of them as needs. See, you don't need me to agree with you, but you want me to. Everybody wants everybody to agree with them. But what if you needed me to? Now aren't you going to do the same thing as like needing to breathe? Aren't you going to fight, push, badger, provoke until you, because you, you will keep relentlessly pushing on me to like finally give in and agree with you. This is what little children do, Right? They need that toy. They need that ice cream. They need. They don't understand wants versus needs, and they're going to push and push until they get it or until you make them clearly understand that it's only a want and not a need, that they understand, as your parent, I'm going to give you everything you need, but I'm absolutely not going to give you everything you want. I'll give you some of the things you want, but I'm not giving you everything you want because not everything you want is actually good for you. Or maybe the timing isn't good for you. But this is the problem in the body, though. The body doesn't understand the difference between a want and a need. And so what happens is when they start treating wants as needs, we have terrible problems. We had a problem in this congregation years ago because there were some people that needed me to have a certain position on something that I refused to have. Now, it didn't matter to them that I allowed them the space to do what they wanted themselves. I just wasn't going to take the position publicly. And that became a split in the congregation because it was a need for that person where it wasn't just a want, okay? I don't need to even tell you what the issue was. It doesn't matter. It could be in any issue. But that person needed me to do something, even though I had allowed, I said, I don't have any problem with you doing whatever it was. Do it. Fine. I allowed them the space to walk out their own salvation and do it. I said, but that doesn't go, that doesn't go in line with what I believe, and I'm not going to teach that from the microphone. But that person needed me not only to agree with them, but to publicly agree with them. And so that became a, po that became a point that created actually an angry outburst on live stream during the Q&A. And then the person was all mad at me that they embarrassed themselves in front of everybody on the live stream. I said, I didn't make you do anything. You chose to grab the microphone and explode on the live stream. This is many years ago, okay? And so, but yet now the person feels terrible and they're all offended. Now they want to make, blame me for that too. Isn't that what we do with people? So even when we do things, we can't possibly own that. Now we've got to blame somebody else again. This is what causes division. Part of what causes division is you're not owning your own stuff. You want everybody else to own their own stuff, but you don't want to own your own stuff. Your own flaws, your own issues, your own problems. You don't want to own it, but you want everybody around you to own theirs. We're not mature enough. This is a maturity problem. 